just had an email or a text to say that a delivery is coming that I am uh, really excited about today. That's a delivery I've been waiting for. I've got it. Got it? Yep. <sighs> we have it. Exciting. We've got scissors. Got Ready box. to go. This is an unboxing. We haven't done this for quite a while, have we? No, no. Well, there's very... There's not a huge amount of products that I'm going to leave really excited about. I am, I'm not a really excitable person, but I am kind of looking forward to this. Mm. You wanna hang around? Yeah, I can do. Be a while. You ready? Ready. I'm just loading my van up ready to go uh, to test this driver and I just thought it was an opportune moment to give you a bit of an update on the van. Uh, for those of you who watch the channel you'll know that uh, quite a few months ago now we got a van. Uh, we we're going to change it into what will become a uh, well a bit of a mobile office really for me to travel the country do some filming do some work along the way and it's progressed quite a lot. The reason you haven't seen any updated videos yet is because we've been doing a lot of work there has things happened already you can see two new windows in there new window down the side and quite a bit of work gone in the interior although it won't look that much to you but believe me a lot of blood sweat and tears so far so come and have a look get this open Let's see what we can see so Kitchen is about to go in, ceiling's in, spotlights are in, roof, vent, fan is in. We've started this wall, we're halfway down that wall, that's stopping now because we've got some uh, seating area going in the back end. The kitchen uh, sort of backdrop is that frame that you can see there. So loads gone on and what I'm going to do, I might as well tell you now, is that I don't think it fits in with the golf content in terms of the channel. So I'm going to put it all onto a brand new channel. We filmed already, sort of, I think we've got six episodes in as to where we're at now. And uh, I'll announce when we're ready, uh, the name of the new channel and ask for your support. But for now, it's all about this thing. Oh, it's a ball to finish, and Right, I am at a very special golf course to review. What might be a very special golf club, if it's anything like its predecessor. I was a massive fan. It is, of course, the Mini Driver. It's a new one from Taylor Made. It's a 300 series. It looks like an old boy, but does it play like a new toy? And see if it's one that'll end up in my bag, because based on its previous model, I was a huge fan. Right, for those of you interested, I'm on Isla right now and the Macri Golf Links and believe me, I am only on the fourth tee. And I already know this is a very, very special place and uh, there's a full video coming from here of my 18 holes which we're going to film tomorrow. But anyway, back to the Mini Driver and what is it that I uh, sort of first liked about the previous model and what I like about this. And first of all, it is obviously the size of the head. I grew up when drivers weren't 460cc, they were a lot smaller, so for me, the sort of transition, I suppose, into the 460cc driver, that was a change. Lots of golfers will only know a 460cc driver, but for me, going back to this smaller head, I've always preferred the sort of a three-wood than I prefer my driver. And for the reasons of the smaller head, but also the shorter shaft, and that's the sort of both of the things that come into question yet again with the mini driver that shorter shaft is three wood length and the smaller head is by no means three wood it's a 307 cc head and it's almost perfect for my eye and in terms of the length and address it just breeds confidence and i've always said it no matter how good the golf club supposedly performs and all that goes into it in terms of technology confidence in the game is massive and if you're stood over the ball with that shorter shaft smaller head then for me it's a massive massive bonus and it's why irrelevant to performance quite yet i'll get to that shortly it ticks massive boxes for me and i reckon it's perfect for the majority of average golfers the 
thing goes like an absolute rocket as well, I'll be honest with you. Wow. Well, the wind is coming into type of club now. I want control in me and I'm not lashing driver. I'm looking for fairways. It's just hanging on to the right edge. Bit of a cut. Now I have one major issue with the TaylorMade Mini driver and that is its availability. Very much like the original one, it is made in small batch quantities and as retailers I know that they can get only limited numbers in stock. So it becomes, I'm, I'm baffled really as to why the likes of the SIM products is our mass produced, uh, the mass produced driver and the mini driver one I think should appeal to the masses is available in such limited quantities and that baffles me a little bit. I really like to understand where TaylorMade are coming from on this one. That's going to chase up, chase and go. That's just my mate the green. Well, it doesn't quite make the pin anyway. I can't see that far, but it is exactly one of the things that really appeals to me about the mini driver is its versatility. And the fact that the club I've got in hand is 13 and a half degrees. So that's very weak lofted, if you like, for the traditional drive, but what it allows you to do is play it off the tee but it also allows you to play it off the deck and much like its predecessor, which I'm going to keep on reverting back to, it's relatively easy to pick up and that again, it wasn't the best of contacts that I got there, but it was good enough and the way the bounce on the sole works, the V-Steel sole sort of slides along, it picked it up, like I said, relatively easy, it's got plenty of fire off that face and the first shot that I visited off the deck was pretty impressive. Another incredible location on the seventh tee of the Macri. I've got the sea to the right of me and a fair bit of carry required on this hole. But again, just going back to how it sits at address, I'd be really interested at this point on your opinions. Uh, first of all, how it looks. Again, underneath, shelf appeal. Never makes a great deal of difference, I don't suppose. I kind of think it's, it's okay. Uh, it looks fine from the top. I absolutely love it. I love that muted finish that they've got. And there's now this thin gloss black line on the front uh, which it just sits really nice behind the ball so I like that again available in 11 half and 13 half degrees worth of loft and again adjustability so I like all land things thrown in but I sort of uh, I was already sold in terms of the original mini driver so I'm straight away drawn to this and very positive towards it but more importantly what are your thoughts and that's what I always like so opinions down below are you going to be considering a mini driver or a shorter shafted driver in the future or you're sticking with a 460cc head and the 44 and a half or 45 inch shaft let me know your opinion is more important than mine what a golf hole this is do not go left and i think we're gonna to have to set it at the left with a little bit of cut it's a brave one That is the best drive of it today, but has it got the carry? Go! Bounce! Well, that was far tighter than I intended, but it's worked out incredibly well. I mentioned earlier on the ability to take this off of the deck and we played the first one off a real tight lie off these firm and fiery fairways at uh, the Macri. But also when the ball is sat in the rough and not necessarily nestled down, but this is just in the first cut, we've got over uh, 210 to go. And I think again, for me, I put that club behind the ball. I see plenty of loft at address and it just same confidence that I would have in it in the three wood. And uh, to be honest with you, Slightly more confidence than I've had in a three wood. It just gives that, uh, there's a lot of loft. I've got 13 and a half in hand and uh, it doesn't put me off one bit. I was going to squeeze it out just to the right hand side there. There's some bunkers in the distance and just inside left of them. But again, picks it up relatively easy. Like I said, a little bit of cut on that off the deck always tends to be but the idea is it gets there fairly easy 
and uh, what I have noticed and I don't know if you're picking up off the tee shots and off of the two shots off the deck the thing absolutely fires off this face as well and I'll finish off I think with some dry ball data Right, so time to go through that dry ball data and I've got to say it's, uh, I'll put the numbers up in front of you now. There's no real great surprises to be honest with you. It's performed pretty similar to what we did in the previous model, but it does it consistently, it does it very, very well. This club is uh, obviously the shorter shaft, so the club head speed is a little bit lower than it would be with a drive, but still at that sort of 94 mile an hour on average is right on up there. Ball speeds again, really, really good for the, uh, for the club head speed. Uh, and overall distance carry and spin number. I just think they kind of tick every box. It launches quite high. We've got that sort of uh, 80 odd feet in terms of uh, launch peak height, which arguably could be that you'd want to knock this down a little bit from 13 and a half down a degree or two to get some optimal numbers. But for me, I kind of, unless it's blowing a hooli, those kind of ball flight conditions were good for me. And I drove the ball reasonably well overall and everything, anything bad in there was relative to my swing. But I think that the overall thing is what I always say about the mini driver or shorter shafted drivers. It's that element of control that is the big deal for most average golfers. And whether or not you choose to want to play the mini driver, I still think that every average golfer should be considering at least playing a sort of 44 inch uh, driver shaft and getting that greater control and then the size of the head thing well that's very much down to again subjective it's down to what you like at address and what you like to see but personally i'm a massive fan so the overall combination of shorter shaft that head size is always going to appeal to me it felt good off the face ball speeds were really good like the previous model i haven't got no criticism of this thing whatsoever uh, anyway that's my thoughts. More importantly, have you tried it? Have you played the previous model? So your comments down below. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video and uh, subscribe if you don't already. And I'll see you very, very soon. We're just filming another two new product releases. So they're starting to move on again.